The case I chose for my new PC build is the Master Case H500 from Cooler Master. It's a mid-tower case, with its signature feature being the two 200mm RGB fans at the front of the case. They're the Cooler Master MF200R model fans, and I'm adding a third at the top of the case, along with replacing the rear 120mm fan with an MF120R ARGB fan. I'm keeping the mesh front panel on even though the case shipped with a clear acrylic panel as well, to maximize airflow. It's a simply designed, spacious, and affordable case that I'm very excited to contain my new components in. I decided to upgrade the monitor I use to take full advantage of my new graphics card. It's an ASUS VG278Q, 27-inch, 1080p, 144Hz, 1ms G-Sync compatible gaming monitor with DisplayPort, HDMI, and DVI inputs. It has the sleek styling that ASUS is known for, with small bezels and a sturdy stand, but I'm mounting mine to my wall arm. Certified G-Sync compatibility was a major selling point for me, along with this monitor's low price of about 300 bucks, since regular G-Sync monitors are way too expensive just to prevent screen tearing and artifacts. I'm glad my new PC will look its best being displayed through this panel. Quite a feast for the eyes. The graphics card I settled on for my new PC build is the EVGA GeForce RTX 2070 for the Win 3 Ultra Gaming. This is my third EVGA graphics card, so I'm confident it's going to perform just as well as my previous ones. With a giant heatsink and three fans, it should stay nice and cool as it shows off some flashy RGB lighting. It's got 8GB of GDDR6 memory and a 1815MHz boost clock to keep frame rate smooth and high at my 1920x1080 resolution. This card also has a unique feature of being able to connect an extra PWM fan and more RGB lighting directly to the card. I won't be using this card for ray tracing, but it's quite a powerhouse at everything else. The motherboard I chose for my 2019 PC build is the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. It comes with 4th generation PCIe and is specially made for AMD's Ryzen 3000 series of processors. This motherboard comes with many features I was looking for, such as an M.2 NVMe slot that I'm going to use for my boot drive, plenty of fan, RGB, and ARGB headers, great I.O. for many fast USB connections and audio devices, and of course it comes with MSI's Mystic Lite RGB software, along with an Ahemic 3 for audio software. It has active cooling for some motherboard components, along with the main M.2 slot, and an extra perk is the metal reinforcement around the main graphics card slot. It supports DDR4 RAM up to 4400 MHz and 128 gigs. It has 6 SATA 3 inputs pointed towards the side of the motherboard, along with 2 M.2 slots. There are 6 USB 3.2 ports on the rear of the motherboard, one of them being a USB Type-C, along with 2 more USB 2.0 ports on the rear. I can hardly wait to use this. Here are the storage drives I chose for my 2019 PC build. For my boot drive that will host my Windows installation, I went with the Samsung 970 EVO Plus 500GB NVMe M.2 solid state drive. It provides read speeds of up to 3.5GB per second and write speeds of up to 32 a second. For my main large storage drive, I went with the Samsung 860 EVO 1TB 2.5 inch SATA 3 solid state drive, and that provides read speeds of up to 550MB per second and write speeds of 520MB a second. The RAM I chose for my 2019 PC build is Trident Z RGB Neo from G-Skill. It's specifically made for the AMD Ryzen 3000 series and X570 chipset, so it will pair perfectly with my CPU and motherboard. The cast latency timings I chose for this RAM are 16, 19, 19, 39 at 1.35 volts. I got four sticks at 8 gigabytes each for a total of 32 gigs of random access memory. Beautiful. The CPU I chose for my 2019 PC build is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. It fits in the AM4 socket and works best on X570 chipset motherboards. It has 8 cores, a base clock of 3.6 GHz, boost clock of 4.4 GHz, and is the first consumer CPU to have PCIe 4.0 capabilities. It also comes with the Wraith Prism RGB stock cooler, which should do just fine since I don't plan on overclocking. My 2019 summer PC build is finally complete. With finishing touches such as the V1 Tech RGB GPU support bracket and custom designed GPU backplate, this computer looks as good as it performs. Temperatures stay cool and the benchmarks show great numbers. 
This is the first computer I've bought and put together completely from parts myself, and it was a wonderful experience that I'll get to enjoy the results of for years to come. Technology's amazing.